you're taking a break from rust, enjoying a nice cup of coffee, not a care in the world. When suddenly, your phone goes out of control. You open it up. It's the Rust notification app. The horror. Right in front of your eyes, in real time, you see your base getting raided. You see your base falling apart bit by bit. There's nothing that you can do. Your base is dead. Good evening everybody, Flack is back and today we are going to be testing out the new Rust notification app. We're also going to be testing it with some of my Patreons. <laughs> and I'm going to be interviewing the guy that made the software. So let's get straight into it. What I've done is I've brought up an overlay of my cell phone screen. This has been synced in real time to my game. It is 100% synchronized. And what I'm gonna do is test out the different features that this app has. You can see over here, I've built a simple little role player base so that we can test it on. And we are gonna show you exactly how it works. Now, the app has the notification screen. It also has a subscription screen where you can sign up to a server and it has an account, which I have no idea what it does, but we're just using notifications for now. And the first thing we're gonna do is test out the traps. And yeah, on my front porch, I have a landmine. I'm gonna fire a couple of shots at the landmine, try and trigger it. And there we go, look at that. I'm gonna drag down my notification bar and you can see here landmine triggered. Someone has triggered a landmine within your building privilege. Once I touch on that notification, you can see it says landmine triggered. It shows you a timestamp of exactly when that happened and it shows you which server it happened on. Next, we're gonna take a C4 and pop it on the door over here and let's have a look at what happens. You'll see that the landmine triggered is a trap, so it was marked yellow. However, when I do damage to the building like doors or walls, it'll be marked as red. I'm gonna place down some C4 on this floor foundation over here and you will see. Floor destroyed. Let's try the wall. Each individual building item, the wall, the floors, the foundation, everything has its own description, which means that even if you offline, at school, at work, on your phone, you can sort of work out where the radar is, judging by the descriptions that's coming from the notifications. And all of these notifications come courtesy of your building privilege. If you have building privilege, you will get the notifications. However, if you lose your building privileges, like losing your TC, you will no longer get notifications. See, I get the notification, your TC has been destroyed, but now that I no longer have building privilege, I can no longer receive notifications. If I now place C4 on my stair foundations and I try and blow it up, you'll see... No notification. Not to worry, if I replace down my TC, fill it up with some resources, and try and blow up something... You will notice nothing. You have to wait for about a minute before the new TC's privilege kicks in. I'm going to retry and break something else. And there you go. It has finally flowed through. So as long as you have building privilege, you will have notifications. The third feature mentioned of the Rust notification app, and by far my favorite feature, is the vending machine link. If I access this vending machine and I buy some stones, it'll say, sold stones. If I want to get rid of all the notifications, if my screen's too full, I just swipe to the left and it will get rid of all the notifications on there, freeing up some screen space. I'm going to buy some wood now and then... Oh! Well, the old messages came back. I okay, well, it's probably a bug. I'll let the developer know. He can fix that for us. Now I'm going to buy me a nice L96. There we go. M249. Great. I love this particular feature because I always set up a shop outside of my compound walls and now I don't have to run backwards and forwards to check if I made a sale and I don't want to leave high value stuff just chilling in my loot room. The first feature I added was the traps. Now all these traps you see here are activatable via the app as well. I'm going to bring over a bear trap here, place it on my porch and as long as all my traps are within my building privilege, if I stand on it or activate it, I'll receive the notification. This feature is really cool because if you need to set up traps, you don't have to stare at the trap waiting for it. You can just simply set up the trap and look at your phone waiting to trap some bitches. And the fourth and final feature of the app is the death notification. If I die via, for example, a C4 or something, the app will immediately let me know that I've died. 
this is a great feature because you can actually work out exactly where a raider is in your base. You can see your doors falling, you can see your walls falling, you can see your TC get destroyed, and you can see yourself die. And this is obviously a way to know if the base is salvageable or not. Okay, so let's let's start with the, the, the rocketing. Can you take out the door, please, um, Slice? Now, the following footage of me playing with my patrons is us testing out the software. However, this is an older version of the software. Since this recording, the developer has updated the software, and in the beginning part of this video, you saw the latest software. The reason why I'm showing you this footage is if you look just below my cell phone, you'll see that there's a small edge of my laptop screen. So this particular footage should always match the bottom left of my screen. That way you can tell that all these notifications are truly in real time and that I didn't do anything to trick the video or make the software look faster than what it is. Oh, immediately. Let's... Nice. I've got a notification. Holy fuck. Okay, opening up the notification. Sorry, these are older ones. So the top one here, door destroyed. Okay, that's worked. Norks, can you take out like the shop front with the C4? Or a wall? Actually, rather do... Actually, no, do the shop front. I'm curious to see if it's going to say anything about uh, the... How many C4s are... is it again? I don't know. Just throw three. Fuck it. YOLO. Um, shop front destroyed! Holy fuck, it's instant! Uh, yeah, Slice, you can take out the roof, dude. See, it doesn't let you know, like... I can see it's got the notifications there. But it doesn't let you know that it's under attack, it just says when it's destroyed. There we go. Wall destroyed. Got the second wall destroyed. I suppose that's the most important thing when something actually gets destroyed, not just damaged. Yeah, yeah. Oh, roof it could destroyed. Be inadvertently damaged somehow. It got roof as well immediately. Okay, baguettes. Oh, do me a favor, baguette. Buy something from the shop quickly. There we go. So I bought one, two, three, one. four, five. Oh, can I kill you? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, let's see if I got enough. Ah! For fuck's oh. sake. Okay, let's see. You have died. Huh? Look at that. And that concludes the testing portion of this video. I'm not going to interview the person that made the software. If you're into all that nerd shit, be sure to stick around. If not, thank you so much for watching. Here we go. Hello. Oh, that does not work. I'm hearing a strange buzzing sound, my friend. Oh, yeah. I... Ah. Hello. You hear me? I hear you. How are you, my friend? I'm doing fine. How Excellent. Are you? I'm great, I'm great. Okay, let's let's start off firstly. How do I say your name? You mean uh, my real name? Well, well Stefan? It's, yeah, Stefan, that's fine. But I'm talking about your, your game attack. Oh, uh, Shadon. Shadon. Yeah. Shadon. Oh, that's cool because then when you kill someone, you can be like, I just shed on you. Yeah. Now tell me the, the app that you made. Obviously, I, I, I can gather that you're not from Face Punch. This is like... Just the project. Yeah, correct. How does that just... work exactly? Is it is it for profit? Is it for passion? What's your story behind making the app? Uh, the idea started. Well, first started playing Rust, and I uh, discovered my first um, offline raid. <laughs> okay, when you got raided. Yeah, when I got raided, my mm, very mm. first uh, after hours playing on empty oh. servers, trying to learn the game. God, I remember those days. It just breaks <laughs> your heart, doesn't it? It just breaks your heart so bad. Yeah, you log off for the evening and then next, all... next morning. Yeah, nothing. Gone. All your work gone. <laughs> okay, so you thought you're gonna yeah. create, you'd like to create, or you had an idea to create an app that would alert you when your base was getting tampered with. Yeah, I had the idea back then already, so that was in like 2017, but I think well, most of the people would have like an idea from, uh, like to know when they were being raided. Of course. Yes, I'm, I, I mean, ever, I've always wanted it myself, I'll tell you that much. Like some time ago, uh, Facebunch released their um, Nolt site, where you can uh, uh, post your ideas. Okay, okay. And... Uh, yeah, I, I saw like something, a request like this, uh, uh, come around a lot. Okay. People asking, uh, please uh, send us a mail when we're being raided, or uh, yeah, like send us a, a message through Discord or whatever, or a text something. message. Something, yeah, something. Well, that's exactly the, the first uh, attempt I, uh, I, when I started this project. Yeah. The, the first idea I, I had was, well, let people uh, allowed to get a notification whenever a trap uh, goes off. 
So you could acti actively install like an alarm system. Yeah, so like shotgun traps by the door. As soon as the yeah. first shotgun trap fires at them, then you get your notification to say, hey buddy, come online. Yeah, so that, that was my, my first uh, uh, smaller project. Okay. That I, um, that's what I called uh, Raid Alert. Yeah, so I, I had the idea to, um, well, yeah, make it more of a platform. Yeah, yeah. I, I've, I've uh, created four ideas for plugins right now. Okay. That you that you have been able to test on my test server. And the, the things I will be developing is uh, just the app. Okay. And the, the core plugin of the Rust notifications uh, system. Okay. So uh, this will allow other plugin developers to also send notifications. The four I've made are just samples of what you could be doing with this. Uh, the, the core plugin allows uh, other plugins to hook into it. Mm -hmm. So other plugins can just tell my plugin, send a message. The plugin developers, they can control what they are sending. So it, it can be any message they want. They yeah, have control I over the title, the message, and the color of the notification. And then what you've done is you've just obviously created, like I said earlier, this platform where you've allowed the communication between your Rust and your phone, and it's up to them to make use of it and have fun with it. Yeah, exactly. This was more of a hobby, if anything. It wasn't, you weren't trying to like release a full product. You just wanted to, you know, play with the game. You enjoyed the game type of thing. Yeah, I uh, eventually I, I, uh, I accepted the fact that I suck at Rust. <laughs> Don't worry, me too, bro. Me too. Have you seen my videos? <laughs> God, I can't hit the thing. It's been real. Thank you so much for speaking with me. Um, no, thank you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end the interview now. However, I do want to talk more to you. So if you can just hold on, I want to end my recording. But thank you so much for joining me for the interview. Um, yeah, no problem. Thank you for having me. <laughs> it's been awesome, dude. Thank you. And a special thank you goes out to my patrons for participating in this video. Three feet, Norks, the Get, the Slice Factor. I truly appreciate your participation. An extra, extra special shout out goes out to my beautiful patrons. You can see their names on screen. The reason why there is an extra, extra special shout out to these guys is in the time of the COVID-19 virus where everyone's going crazy, everyone's getting fired and everyone's losing their jobs. The patrons are the guys that are keeping me afloat and I absolutely adore them. Thank you guys so much for your support. If you want to be a part of the Patreon squad, follow my sexy Twitter, join my awesome Discord, follow me on that purple streaming service, or follow my absolutely barren Instagram, please be sure to click on all of my social links in the video description below. And coming this Thursday, I'm launching my own Rust server. Yes, everyone's doing it. I decided to do it myself. It's going to be a two times likely modded server on EU. It's going to be more focused towards the role players, more community, more friendly and fun instead of the chatty PvP type servers. So if you're interested in that type of thing, please be sure to check the Mr. Flack link in the video description below. I'm going to put the server IP there and details on how you can join it. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, Flack out.